People are heartbroken, devastated, and downright angry about what happened yesterday in Nashville as another community deals with coping from the aftermath of the latest mass shooting. Nationwide, it raises the question, when will it stop? And also questions about how we can take action in making our schools safer. Take a look at this. Surveillance video released by the Metro Nashville Police Department shows the shooter shooting out the doors at the Covenant School yesterday. You can see the glass is not apparently protected and it's easily broken. Really just takes a few seconds for that attacker to get in. Armored One is a company that builds special glass to slow down an attacker and provide more time for students and teachers to get to safety. Also more time for police to respond. You may remember we told you last year that Duval County Public Schools partnered with this company in making sure that schools across our area are safer. So we want to circle back. We want to see what has been done and, and what could have been done here in this situation. So let's get straight to Tom Chiz, the Armored One co-founder and CEO. Uh, Tom, I know I was talking to you last night. You're on the ground there in Nashville. First of all, such an incredibly difficult situation. What are you learning? What are you taking in from being there? Nick, this is a really hard scene again. This is my 61st uh, active shooter that I've been on now in 10 years of running this company and investigating. And we're seeing the same patterns over and over again, minus this one being a uh, an attack that has happened at a private school. We don't see that as much and the attacker showing up, but we did see a big 180 turn with our police response compared to what we saw in Uvalde with them under gunfire still entering the school and taking out the shooters in about 14 minutes. Yeah, the reports are that the Nashville police officers really did everything they could, but we already are seeing some failures here, Tom. Uh, we have that surveillance video. We also have pictures of that shooter just going through the front glass doors in, in no time. What's your reaction to that? We're showing it on the screen right now so our viewers can see it again. This shooter just opens fire on those doors and then is able to get into the school seconds later. This is definitely heartbreaking and you witnessing firsthand, there are solutions out there that would have stopped the shooter in the tracks between window film and security glass. There are products out there that would have kept the attacker outside the building. And yet one, the school might not been able to afford it because they're a private school followed by, is there state funding for it? But there are still no mandates for this. People believe that if you have a locked door that it's going to keep someone out, but if it's not up to an ASTM standard, the F3561 standard, where products are shot and then hit with a ram, we don't know if that product, that door, that lock or that glass is gonna keep someone out. Yeah, Tom, as you alluded to, I was able to go to New York, to Syracuse, and, and see your experts in action, to see everyone working to make schools and buildings safer. And, and I actually got to shoot through some of these, these glass doors. What I learned and what a lot of people maybe not won't understand is, is there's really no such thing as a bulletproof window, but it slows it down and it makes it harder for somebody to get through. So the bullets may still pierce that, but it, it slows it down, ultimately giving police time to get behind the shooter. Can you explain how that works? Yeah, so the, as you were stating, the bullet resistant or the bulletproof glass that people know of is very expensive and we rarely even see it in federal buildings. So for the schools or even private schools to be able to afford that, it, we're really not seeing it in, in less than 1% of the schools across America. So creating a product and putting in a product that's going to stop a shooter and not necessarily stop a bullet. And as you saw in the surveillance footage that you're showing, that shooter shooting into the building would have injured or killed no one. The shooter's goal is to get to the classroom and get to where the students are to kill. And the purpose of the product is to keep them outside of the building or outside of a classroom so they cannot kill, so they cannot see their victims, so they do not have that control. Yeah, absolutely. You know, this is a textbook case of what we talked about when we visited New York, when we visited and, and talked to the, the men and women at your company that, that study this every day. I mean, really by the book with how this shooter went in, how this shooter planned to the attack. Uh, I want to ask you this, moving forward, uh, what, what do we do? I mean, we, we don't want to report on this anymore. You don't want to be there. I don't want to be talking about this, Tom. I, I am absolutely sick of this. We need the government to step up and start making some mandates, even right there in Florida to start 
as we saw in Parkland. He was shooting out classroom windows and pointing, pushing the gun into the room and killing our kids. Something has to stop. There has to be a mandate for minimal standards and funding to make that actually happen. And that will start to save lives, not to mention training. We saw a lack of training here with the staff. There has to be a mandated minimal standard for physical security and training for our schools across America. And Tom, we're, we're about out of time, but I've got to ask you because there was that big news conference where Duval County Public Schools and the mayor's office talked about protecting our schools in Duval County. I'm going to follow up on this, but real quickly, where do we stand uh, with your relationship there? There's still a relationship there, and we're, we're waiting on Duval County really to step it up between glass security and through the training that they need to be ready to go to be prepared. God forbid something like this happens. All right, so we're going to follow up with the mayor's office with Duval County Public Schools as well. Tom Chiz, thank you for your time this morning representing Armored One. I know it's difficult there. Uh, please give everyone our best, and we're going to post this on our website, newsforjax.com. We'll be right Will back. Do. Thank you.